Hello my internet friends and thank you for joining me for another calculator video. In today's video we'll be looking at the Sharp EL9200. I have various graphing calculators in my collection, Texas Instruments, Hewlett Packard, Casio, but I didn't have any made by Sharp. This one came up on eBay recently, it was an excellent price, so I grabbed it while I could. I was very excited to see what this calculator could do, but unfortunately it only took a few moments of use to see that this calculator had some serious issues. So let's start with the easy stuff. One plus one equals did you notice that pause there 96 times 58 equals again a pause I've never known a calculator before to not give a answer absolutely instantly. Let's try something more complicated, 69 factorial. Notice how I have to select the option from a menu, not via the keypad. That seems slightly faster, but it still wasn't instant. Let's look now at the graphing and see how fast that is. Let's start with something simple. Y equals sine of x. And go. Four point one seconds. That's about the same amount of time it takes an old lady to cross the road. Please note here that I timed it from the point that it crossed the zero line until it had completed one period. So there we have it folks, the Sharp EL9200, unfortunately let down with its poor performance. It's got some good features though, it's got a nice large display, 80 by 56 dot matrix display, and I do like the top row of keys to move you quickly between the different modes of the calculator. I don't like that many mathematical functions are only available via menu. I would far prefer that it was in the traditional style of having all the functions on the actual keys. We have our traditional hard sliding case it's not a slim calculator. If we flip it over and have a look at the rear, we'll see that it's driven by four AAA batteries, which make it a rather chunky calculator if you compare it to a similar Hewlett Packard calculators, which run off the coin cells. But of course, with the larger batteries comes a much longer battery life compared to the Hewlett Packards. But we're not quite finished. The speed issue of this calculator intrigued me, so I wanted to compare it to some other calculators. If we pull up the Hewlett Packard 12C, this is a model that runs off three button cell batteries, so we know that it's got either a 1L or 1R range processor in 
running at 884 kHz. Let's see how the HP 12C handles 69 factorial. There was a slight pause. Let's have a look again. A slight pause. So very similar to the sharp, but the calculator is approximately 15 years older in design. So I would totally expect calculations to be slower on such an old calculator. Switch now to the Casio FX7000G, the father of graphing calculators. Let's see how this Casio performs both with some mathematical functions and with graphing. Bearing in mind that this calculator is also approximately 10 years older than the Sharp EL9200. Let's start with the same mathematical calculation, 69 factorial. And an instant result, no delay at all. Exactly what I would expect from a calculator. If we look now at some graphing, same graph, y equals sine of x, There we have it, 2.933 seconds, which is 1.16 seconds faster than the sharp for one period of a sine graph. My interest at this point was really peaking, and I was very interested to know exactly where these calculators fitted into the greater scheme of things. So let's have a look how they compare with a 1986 Intel-based computer running at 8 megahertz with an 8086 processor. So here's a quick GW basic sine wave plot. Well, that wasn't fair. Let's change the code to increase the radiance by a factor of 10. Okay, that was definitely cheating, but at least we made the PC just under 3 seconds slower than the sharp calculator. Okay, this is the last one, I promise. Let's see how it compares to a 1982 ZX Spectrum 48K. And there we have it, though I should just be happy that my spectrum is actually switching on and I shouldn't be entering it in calculator races. And that folks wraps up my review of the Sharp EL9200. So it is 
slower than a calculator that is 10 years older than it. It is the same speed with a complex mathematical formula as a calculator that is 15 years older than it. It's slower than a computer which is 10 years older than it. But luckily it's faster than Z Spectrum. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you want to see more. Cheers then. Bye.